Are you ready for our last New York Fiber Trail road trip of 2023? Today I am driving to the Albany Schenectady region, which I think might be the farthest I've gone in pursuit of the yarn. Uh, I went to Buffalo, but I was traveling to visit family there anyway, so driving to Albany purely for the yarn is definitely the farthest that I've gone. Uh, I'm about to drive two and three quarters hours by myself to get to Albany. Our first stop is Batten Kill Fiber Mill, and then after that we have four yarn stores on the docket for today. I know the Albany Schenectady area has a bunch more yarn stores, but their hours didn't line up with when I was visiting, so sadly I'm not going to get to those this season. But I am excited to get five more stamps on my passport today, and it's going to be the last five stamps, and then it'll be done, and I'll submit it uh, to the New York Fiber Trail powers that be for their, you know, tracking or giveaways or whatever they do. But I, you know, I'm excited to get going. This is the first day of my Rhinebeck weekend. I'm doing my little Albany Fiber Trail yarn stores today, and then tomorrow the festivals start. So it's a nice dipping my toe in, so to speak. I guess it's a lot more work than dipping my toe in, but uh, I'm, I'm getting started. It's not festivals yet, right? It's stores. It's a little easier to manage. I'm in a drive through line at Starbucks right now. I'm going to get my pumpkin cream cold brew and hit the road, and I will see you after I see some beautiful fall scenery on my way to Albany. Okay, I made it to Battenkill, which is a small town outside of Saratoga. Uh, I forgot. I made this schedule several weeks ago, so I kind of haven't thought about it in several weeks, but uh, my first few stops are in Saratoga today. So I'm here at the Battenkill factory store, and let's just go in and see what they've got on offer. It's going to be very hard for me to not buy stuff everywhere. This is the first stop, and I really wanted some of those yarns. <laughs> They're milled and spun here. Obviously, it's a mill store. Um, of all the mill stores I've seen so far, this one had probably the largest selection of bases. They were very pretty. Some of them, the color palettes were calling to me. They're, it's like a spring palette, and it doesn't matter. Like so pretty. Um, they had some gorgeous finished objects on display made from their yarns and it was all very very tempting but I did walk away without making a purchase because there's going to be so much yarn to come. I can't. I can't. I can't. But I, I wish I could have. I wish I could everywhere. It's a really cute little store. They're very friendly, very accommodating. Definitely worth a stop if you're in the area. They had lots of different blends from different wools and it was all like woolly wool but not too rustic you know definitely felt nice in the finished objects they had some very pretty woven blankets and things that I believe were for sale I believe we're heading towards Saratoga Springs for our next stop but I really don't remember see you there Made it to beautiful downtown Saratoga Springs, a very pretty walkable downtown. It's a bigger city than we're used to seeing these in, but let's go check out Common Thread.
This yarn shop had such a good selection. Um, you know that I think the best type of balanced yarn shop is one that has like a good deal of commercial yarns and like solids and things, but also some local. And she had a bunch of local. Um, I also love when there's like kits put together and there is a lot of adorable kits, especially kind of in canisters or cute containers that I'd never seen before. And she had some fall decorations out. It was a very nice store to stop into. Again, I didn't buy anything. I'm so proud of me. I never thought I'd be proud of me for like not getting yarn, but at this point, I, I need to stick to my guns and, and not over accumulate today. So I'm glad I stopped in. I loved it. The owner was really sweet. She wanted to take a picture of my granny pop v-neck because her crochet class is doing the crew neck version of this. So she wanted to show my color choice and the v-neck and uh, I'm super flattered <laughs> to be in her newsletter. So that's really cute. The next stop is in Schenectady. So another bit of a drive, but I will head on down there now to the store called This'll Be Perfect Too. Oh, onward. I just love the way that one was decorated. It was like absolutely my eclectic vintage, but also a ton of yarn style. <laughs> it, I really love the way it's put together. Very, I, I'm struggling to not say very cute every time, guys. I'm really trying, but my reflex after coming out of a yarn store is to announce that it was very cute. I loved it. I had to look around. There was so much to look at. Lots of pretty decor and antique items also a bunch of little artisan knickknacks and finished items the person working informed me that the owner also owns a little artisan shop that is like two doors down so uh, she took me over there and i had a look around tons of cute craft finished items lots of halloween decor which i also had to resist but i really really enjoyed looking around at these two stores <laughs> It's in a little strip mall. There's also like a consignment shop and a bagel shop. I got a bagel for lunch. It was really good. Overall, a lovely stop. I did make a purchase at this one. It's a small purchase. Um, I bought two small things. One is that they had little acrylic pins with their logo. And I got a little mini, a little Halloween colored mini. 
they had a table with a display of Halloween minis, and it struck me. It would make a nice addition to my granny stripe blanket as ever. So now I am driving to a small town outside of Albany called Altamont, which I had to check the map to look up because I don't know where that is. It looks like every drive today is about a 30 minute drive between all of these five stores. So I've got two more stops, Altamont and then Albany. Let's go to the spinning room. Another very cute yarn shop. I, I'm trying to come up with a different way to say it. Adorable. Uh, a great selection of commercial, plenty of very, very tempting options. Um, I very nearly bought a couple different skeins for gift knits, but I thought I should wait and see uh, since it's Rhinebeck weekend. The owner was very accommodating in there helping someone with a project as I was shopping around. She did tell me that a lot of their stock isn't on the shelves because they're going to be at Rhinebeck, which is not the first time I've heard that today. So I can look forward to trying to see them there and see what options they have. Once again, I left empty handed, which is a win and a loss at the same time, but they didn't have any minis or anything to that effect. And I thought it's probably better that I wait and hold out for the weekend. So we have one more stop today, which I believe is in Albany proper. And I don't remember what it's called, but... Google will tell me and let's go check it out. I made it to CC's Yarns and More, which is just outside of Albany. I guess I'm never going into Albany proper today. I did not remember that. 
but we are here at our last stop. Let's go in and look around. That's a bummer. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it never occurred to me that bundling these yarn shops in with Rhinebeck Weekend might mean that the yarn shops are closed. It's kind of sad, but also I guess I'm done for the day. You know, I did have a good time. I did see four cute yarn stores. Cute! Four. There's got to be another adjective. However, I did have a nice day. I did get to stop at four yarn stores and I did enjoy looking around those and getting to experience being there and exploring there, even though my yarn haul for the day is this guy. Can you even believe it? I went to four stores today and I walked away with one mini. I'm kind of proud of that. Anyway, like I mentioned, I have a ton of Rhinebeck content coming up. I am filming all four of the festivals that I'm visiting, and then I'll also do my standard vlog and haul video separately, but there's plenty coming to the channel soon, so subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed not just this video, but all summer exploring the New York Fiber Trail with me. Let's have a look at my finished passport. I have 27 stamps. I mean, they, we went to 27 yarn stores together. I am so glad that I got to partake in this program this year. It was so fun, and I am very happy that they put it together. Let me know in the comments if they do this sort of thing where you live, if there's some sort of yarn crawl or fiber trail. And I can't wait to see you in my Rhinebeck videos. Bye.